Uh, we keep study uh, Greek uh, basic grammar course. Uh, last class, we study uh, syllables, and one of the example, uh, Greek word, uh, we study word study lambano. Uh, let's review quickly. Uh, syllable, in one syllable, at least there is one vowel. One vowel. And then syllable is the smallest unit of sound that can be pronounced. So in order to make a one sound, one vowel has to be exist, right? So we look at the uh, Greek vowel, and Greek composed of 17 consonants and 7 vowels. So those 7 vowels are categorized monotone, long vowels, and diphthongs, right? And then the monotone is the short vowel, short sound. And then long vowels are longer than short vowels. And then diphthong consists of two vowels, but it take as a, it count as a one vowel, right? Mm -hmm. So pronunciation, alpha, a, a. epsilon, a. a, iota, e, e. omicron, o, epsilon, w. And then the long vowel, alpha, a, eta, e. e. Iota, e. e. Omega, o. e. Epsilon, w. E. E. So basically, Greek vowel is a, e, e, o, w sound. But the seventh vowel is alpha, it can be monotone and long vowel. Iota, it can be monotone and long vowel. Epsilon, it can be monotone and long vowel. So, a, e, e, o, v. And then the long vowel comes when the syllable is open syllable, right? Open syllable end with vowel, right? So for example, here, lam, right? Lambda, alpha, mi, lam. Because the consonant comes after vowel, this is closed syllable, right? Because you cannot, once you say lam, that finish. But the second one, ba, it end with vowel, vowel, which is a sound. So ba, it makes long vowel. So even though same alpha on each syllable, but this alpha is monotone. Monotone. And then this alpha is long vowel, right? Same as the last one, no. So it end with omega. So omega is long vowel. So alpha and omega is a long vowel, but here alpha is monotone, which is a short vowel. So when alpha comes the end of the syllable, and those are making the long vowel sound, but those one is monotone, then makes the closed syllable, right? So that's what we learned last time. And then there was a name on the each syllable, right? So the last syllable, in case of this, last syllable is this one, third one. It's a third three-syllable word, right? So last syllable, the name is ultima. And then second syllable, penultima. And then the last one says anti-penultima. So Greek only has a three names on the syllable. So there is a word four syllable word and five syllable word, there is no name, and then only three syllable has a name in Greek. And we study the lambano. So what is the meaning of lambano? <coughs> lambano means take, right? But in English Bible, in many cases, lambano translated as receive, which is incorrect translation. Because there is a word that translates as receive in Greek word, right? On the bottom, I put on here, dekomai. So dekomai is the one that needs to translate as receive. Why lambano translate as receive? Lambano is take. So the, I explained last class, the difference between lambano and dekomai is, lambano is actively take, right? So whether you want to give me a permission or not, 
the one you have, the one you possess, I really want to take it. So I don't want to wait to get your permission, right? So regardless, whether you give me a permission or not, I will take it. So that kind of a behavior and attitude. But the dekomai is receive, receive, and then accept to have a for to one, which means I have nothing but to wait until you give me a permission to give. Then I can receive from you. But Lambano, I'm not going to receive from you. I am going to take from you, whether you like it or not. Because the one you have, I really want to have it. <laughs> really want to have it. So we study a couple of verses last, last class. Uh, Matthew 7, 8, 10, those Matthew, and then John. And remind John 1, 12. Let's quick go there, 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. So we saw here Lambano, Lambano, the King James translated received, and then New King James translated received. Okay? But it is not received. In order to translate received, free word, dekomai has to be used. But Lambano is not received, Lambano is take. So here, as many as what? Take him. So him is Christos Jesus. So whether Christos Jesus, he is willing to give it to you anyhow, right? But unless you take it, you cannot make your position. That's, that's why I use one of the, the woman in Canaan, right? We can remind that. can go to uh, Matthew 15 say that uh, we can see those story then she came and worshiped him saying Lord help me okay Lord help me and uh, Christos Jesus answer and said it is not good to take the children's bread here children's bread means the uh, Christos Jesus talking 24 he answered and said I was not sent except to the lost the sheep of the house of Israel. So what Christos Jesus says, I'm coming to save the Israel. And then she said, Lord, help me. And then 26, Christos Jesus answered and said, it is not good to take the children's bread, which means Israel, and throw it to the little dog. So it's kind of um, insulting to that lady, to that woman. Okay, I'm not going to give the bread, the children's bread. So Christos Jesus, he said in John chapter 6, I am the living bread, in my flesh and drink my blood. Then whoever eat my bread and drink my blood will possess the eternal life. So Christos Jesus here in Matthew 15 says, it is not good to take the children's bread and throw it to the little dog. So Christos Jesus treat her as a little dog. And look at 27, how humble she is how she has a strong desire to possess the eternal life. And because she already know Christus Jesus, she, he can give her the knowledge of God. So 27, and she said, Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You talk to me as a little dog. Yes, Lord. Yet, even the little dog is the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Look at that. And 28, then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter healed from that very hour. So are you really wants to possess eternal life? Then you have to lambano him. Lambano him. Yes. So go back to that chapter 1, talking to the Lambano again. So as many as take him, to them give the right to become children of God, to those who believe in his name. 
And then last class also, if you watch my YouTube, it is not in, right? It is not in preposition. Also, King James translate on, but it is not on. Ace means into, into. So preposition ace means in to. And then the Greek has the number. The number is haste. They put the rock breathing mark. We're going to study after the syllable study. Haste means one. Number one, number one. So the preposition ace into, you get into. Into is the motion. Motion. So into become what? One. That's what it means. So believing. It is not believe, it's a verb participate. So it has to translate believing. So verb participate present means habitually, repeatedly. So you are believing habitually, repeatedly, continuously. That's what it means. So it's just not believe. Believing into his name. His name. So you believing habitually, continuously, repeatedly into his name. So, believing into his name. Believing into his name. What is his name? Jesus, right? Jesus is his name. So, Jesus means Yehoshua. That comes from the Hebrew word, which means existence of salvation. And we used to say Savior. Savior is the meaning of Jesus. So, to become one, Believing to become one, the name Jesus. So our name has to change to what? Jesus, Jesus, which is we also become the existence of salvation. So whoever has the same knowledge that I have, and then he will have same name, same name. So little Jesus, little Jesus, little Jesus. Everybody has the same name, that Jesus name. That's what it means. So in order to do that, you have to take him. Take him, not just receive him. So talking about 13 is the processing to be take. Who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. So in order to take him, in order to be living into his name, the process is you have to be born of God. And then we went to the uh, first Peter, what is to of God means. And then we studied this one already when we uh, studied grandma word, having been born again. Born again is born from above, right? So anangen nao is a born from above, born from the heaven, born through the heaven. Not of corruptible seed. So corruptible seed based upon that John chapter 1, of the will of man, of the blood, right? And but incorruptible seed. What is incorruptible seed? Incorruptible seed is the word of God, word of God. Seed is the word, right? So through the word of God, which lives abides forever. Because all flesh is grass. This is born of will of man, born of blood, right? And all glory of the man as the flower of the grass, the grass withers and its flower falls away. But the word of God, incorruptible seed. So look at the word of God, grandma, grandma word we already learned, endures forever. Now is the word which by the gospel was preached to you. Okay? So gospel is the grandma word. And then what is the gospel? Born of Christos Jesus, right? And then, resurrection of Christos Jesus. And presence of Christos Jesus. So his birth, his resurrection, his presence. All those things happen to where? Inside me, right? Inside me. So there was the uh, Lambano. We have to take him. Take him. And then today's class, we continue to keep going. John 13, 20. Uh, John chapter 13 is the Christus Jesus last preaching, last sermon. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Five chapters. 
And then chapter 18, he finished and then he arrested. So 18, when Jesus has spoken this word, so when Jesus spoken this word means he start from chapter 13, finish to chapter 17, and finish this word, he went out with his disciple over the brook Gidron, where there was a garden which he and his disciple entered. And then he got arrested right here. Then Judah, having received a detachment of troops and officers from the chief priest, and Perisi came there with lanterns, torches, and weapons. Right. So 13, he start his uh, first, uh, the last speech. Now before the feast of Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, that he should depart from this world to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. So, and then he started to preach, preach. And then we see the Lambano, verse 20, let's go there. Start from 19, now I tell you before he comes, which means before he crucified, that when it does come to pass, you may believe that I am he. And 20, most assuredly I say to you, he who receives whoever I send receive me, and he who receives me receives him who sent me. It's all translated as receive, but look at the Greek text. Greek text is Lambano. Again, I say VPP, which is the verb participate present. The concept of verb participate present is what? Continuously, repeatedly, okay? And custom habitually. So you have to continually, okay? You need to habitually keep going. Lambano, Lambano. So Lambano, the one, Lambano, okay? The one taking, taking. Taking who? Taking the disciple, because Christos Jesus sent the disciple, right? After they received the Holy Spirit and fire baptism on Acts chapter two, they will become the apostle. So whoever received the preacher, as we learn the uh, Roman chapter 10, so whoever call on the name of the Lord will be saved. Then how can we call unless we hear? How can, uh, unless we believe? How can we believe unless we hear? How can we hear without from the preacher? How can he preach without he sent by Christos Jesus? So, God sent the Christos Jesus. God gave the Hurema to Christos Jesus. And when we study Hurema, and then Christos Jesus gave the Hurema to apostles. So apostles start to preaching the word of God. And then person hear from the apostle, they believe, and they call on the name of the Lord. So those are the what processing? Lambaro processing. You have to take it. You have to take it. They are not going to come and then give it to you, okay? So, he who receives, not he who receives, he who take, whoever, whomever I send, take me, take me. And he who take me, take him who sent me. So, you see, Lambaro, 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 Lambaro. Keep saying Lambaro, 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 Lambaro. And then English translate, Receive, 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 but it is not received. So whoever take the preacher, then take the Christos Jesus. And take the Christos Jesus, taking the Father who sent Christos Jesus. There's a Lambaro, right? So those are Lambaro process. So salvation is not receiving process. Salvation is Lambaro process. Lambaro process. You have to take it. Whoever feel the worth of eternal life, they will not hesitate. They will take it. They will take it. But who didn't, who couldn't take it? The young rich man, right? He comes to Christos Jesus, what shall I do in order to possess the eternal life? And Christos Jesus says, keep the commandment. And then he said, I kept the commandment as I was young. And then Christos Jesus said, you have one thing to lack. Sell all you have and then accompany with me. And then he feels sad and he left. So he's not able to lambano him, which means 
he satisfied what he believes. And then he said, I kept as I was young, as I was young. So the one he kept is he kept the commandment, what he thought with his knowledge. But in the eyes of God, God says, you lawlessness. Like we learned last time, five wise virgin, five foolish virgin, and five talent, two talent, and one talent, and then sheep and goat. They all believe, they all know the word of God. Same things happen on Matthew chapter 13. The good seed is the sons of kingdom. It fall on the ground. So it turns out way of side, stony place, and thorns, and then good soil. So you have to lambano. That's what it is. And then 14, 17, John 14, 17. Let's go there. So 13, 14, same continuously, right? 14, 17. And start from 6. Uh, we, can, we can start from um, 15. If you love me, if you love me, keep my commandment. Keep my commandment. And I will pray the Father, He will give you another helper that He may abide with you forever. And the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. The world cannot receive, the world cannot lambano, lambano. The world cannot take it. Because the world is like a dog. The world is like a swine. Right? That's why Christos says, do not throw the pearl the precious one to the dog, to the swine. Why? They are not interested in it. Okay? They are not going to Lambano. Okay? If we throw the candy, yes, they will take it. But if we throw the eternal life, they don't know what it is. They are not interested because it's invisible. They don't know the value of eternal life. So, obviously, they will take the candy instead of eternal life. So, the spirit of truth whom the world cannot take it. Because he neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him. For he dwells with you and will be in you. So here, Christos Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandment. So this is chapter 14. And then Christos Jesus talked in more detail, chapter 15. Now, once we are here, let's find out. This is 14 and next one, 15. Here, verse 10, if you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandment and abide in His love. So how can we abide in love? By keeping the commandment. So Christus Jesus also keep Father's commandment, so you keep my commandment. Then what is Father and then Christus Jesus' commandment? 12 says exactly the point. This is my commandment. What is his commandment, Father's commandment? You love one another as I have loved you. So greater love has no one than this, that to lay down one's life for his friend. You are my friend. You are my friend. So how can we become a friend of Christos Jesus? By keeping his commandment. By keeping his commandment. If you do whatever I command you, no longer do I call you servant. For a servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friend. Why? All things that I heard from my father, I have made known you. So Christos Jesus got the hrema, the word from father. Christos Jesus gave that hrema to the disciple, his disciple. And then once they keep the commandment, what is his commandment? Love one another. Love one another as I have loved you. So loving is the commandment. So what loving is talking about? Uh, this is John 15. We can go to John chapter 10. Ah, Matthew, it isn't Matthew, right? Matthew 22, I think. It is in Matthew 22.
Matthew 22, 35. Then one of them, a lawyer, talking about the uh, Pharisee and those Sadducees, and then lawyer, one of the lawyer, one of them, lawyer, asked him, asked Christos Jesus a question. And that question is, testing him, testing him. And saying, 36, teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? So he's testing Christos Jesus now. So we just saw the commandment is what? Love one another, right? On chapter 15. So if, if we love one another, we become the friend of Christos Jesus, right? Because Father's commandment is also love. Christos Jesus' commandment is love. And then 37. So here he's testing to Christos Jesus. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? Jesus said to him, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. So Christos Jesus answer his question, what is the great commandment? And then Christos says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is a first and great commandment. So which is love, right? Love the Lord, who is the Father, right? And then also Christos Jesus is the Lord, too. So, Christos Jesus. First and great commandment. And the second. Second. The second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. So, love the Lord. Second. Love your neighbor. And 40, on these two commandments, these commandments hang all the law and the prophet. So the law and prophet is talking about Old Testament. Old Testament. So the Moses law and the prophet, it consists of 39 books in Old Testament. There's a lot of commandments. A lot of commandments. But the law and prophet, they are hang what? On these two commandments, which is love the Lord, love your neighbor. Love your neighbor. Okay. That's why Apostle Paul is talking on the Roman chapter 13. Here, verse 8, 13, 8 Romans. Oh, no one anything except to love. So, oh means obey law. Obey law. Ope law is ope lemata, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 through 13, the Lord's Prayer, it talking about ope lemata is debt, debt, which is all, you all, which means you are under obligation, obligation. That's the ope law, 3784. We can quick go, 3784. Ope law is to all, to be under obligation, indebted. You have debt. We as a Christian, we have debt. What debt do we have? We don't have any debt at all except what? To love. So loving is the commandment. Loving is our obligation. We have to do it. We have to do it. If you possess eternal life, that's the sign. If you loving, that means that show yourself, I possess eternal life. So, except to love. Owe no one anything except to love. You only owe, you only have obligation, loving one another. For he loves another has fulfilled the law. So, the law and prophet all hang on this loving. Okay? Verse 9, for the commandment, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness, you shall not commit. And if there is any other commandment, are or some of in this saying, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. Same thing, love your neighbor as yourself. So what does that mean? If you do not the obligation of loving, you are nothing but what? Commit adultery. What is committing adultery? That means you don't give the word of God to the person. So he commit adultery with who? With this word. You are married with this word instead of married with 
Christos Jesus. So based upon John chapter 1, we know, we know the Lord God. The God is the Word, right? The Word is God. And then God is also love. So how can you say, I am loving God? Here it says, love, love your Lord. How can you prove yourself if someone comes to you, do you love God? Oh, yes, I love God, obviously. Yes, I'm a Christian. How many times do you spend to understand the Bible? Oh, well, I go to church. I study Bible one hour probably, one hour and a half. Oh, during the weekdays, I just put my uh, Bible on one side and I only study Bible uh, so then do you understand Bible? Do you live by the Word of God? Okay, Like we learned before, can you explain me what is the Jesus and another Jesus? What is the Spirit and then another Spirit? What is the Gospel and then another Spirit? Do you have that discrimination and distinguish between those two? Oh, well, I just... Uh, I love my Lord. So that is a liar. It is cannot lie. He cannot say a lie. But that means he doesn't have a knowledge of God. Which means he doesn't love the Lord. He doesn't love God. Emotionally he loves. right? And emotionally he has a desire to love. But loving God is not fulfilled inside him. That is committed adultery. You shall not murder. If you cannot give the word of God to somebody, you are nothing but to murder your brothers. And you shall not steal. Okay? So you learn the word of God, you have to give, provide it to those, your brethren, your neighbor. But if you, don't, if you are not able to give the word of God using your mouth of God, krema, you are nothing but to, you are stealing. You are the robber. You are the robbers. You are the thief. Once you have it, why did you learn? Why do you have the word of God? To give, to support, to provide. If you don't do that, you are a stealer. You are a thief. So same thing. All commit adultery, murdering, stealing, bear force witnessing, committing, all those things. All for under some of in this saying, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. as yourself. So the sign of to love your Lord is what? Study the word and understand the word. And then what is the sign? Love your neighbor. Give the word. Yes. That is, the, that is the loving. But if you understand when you were young, elementary level of Christian, oh, loving, okay, this year our church, we, uh, with our old donation, we're going to spend about 10% to the poor, to the people who need it. God, they can do that. Bill Gates, who's a million billionaire, he can do more than what you have. Is that the loving? Yes, that's the loving in this world. Not that it's not the loving in the Bible. Love the Lord is love the world. If you don't love the world, if you do not study the Bible and to understand the Bible, to live by the word of God, you are doing the lip service, I love my God, but you are you, the, the word of God cannot fulfill inside you. And then you are you don't have ability to give the love to your brother, to your neighbor. So you have to understand and then uh, receive, perceive the status who you are right now. Then you think uh, you, you can go to heaven after you finish your life in this level? No, you are not. Bible says so. Okay, Bible says so. So, we have that opelo, opelo, obligation. That's why Romans chapter 13, the Apostle Paul saying like that, Saying like that in verse 10. Look at verse 10. Love does no harm to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the what? Fulfillment of the law. All the law and prophet hang on these two commandments as Christos Jesus just mentioned. And then we can go to the same thing. Apostle Paul uh, says, Opelo, which is O, obligation. Hebrew chapter 5.
For know by this time, you ought to be what? You ought to be teacher. Look at the you ought to be teacher in the Greek text. Opeilo. Opeilo. Okay. So, verb participate present again. Continuously, habitually, repeatedly, you have what? Obligation. Opeilo. You are under obligation. So, Christ, Apostle Paul, just, uh, Romans chapter 13 says, Hebrews chapter 5 says, then loving is what? In order to love, you have to become what? The teacher. Teacher is the one who keeps the commandment. Love your Lord, love your neighbor. So, for though by this time you ought to be teachers, you needed someone to teach you again the first principle of the oracle of God. And you have come to need milk and not solid food. So teacher is the one who can eat solid food. The babe, they only eat milk. For everyone who partakes only of milk is what? Unskilled. Unskilled in the world of righteousness. Teacher is the one skilled person in the world of righteousness. But people who is unskilled, he is a babe. Look at the babe. On the te original text. Babe is... Nepios. Nepios, English translate babe. Nepios means infant. Infant means no speaking, not speaking. Obviously, infant cannot speak. Speaking the word of God is talking. Look at the 35, 16. Nepios is what? Not speaking. So, ne is implying negation, which means negative no. And then 2031, pios, that comes from the epos. Epos means word, which means no word, which means no speaking. So infant is not able to speak. They only drink the milk, which is unskilled in the world of righteousness. And 14, but solid food, which is teacher, skilled in the world of righteousness. Solid food belongs to those who are full age. Who is the full age? Teacher is the full age. Who can eat solid food? That is those who by reason of use have their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. So who is the children of God? Who can say, I am the children of God. I am the son of God. Only people who can do, love your Lord, love your neighbor. Because this is a fulfillment of the law. All prophet, all law hang on these two commandments. That's why if you keep my commandment, you are my friend. Christos Jesus said that. I am in God, you are in me. That's why whoever receives you, receive Christos Jesus. It's not receive, right? Lambano, right? Whoever take the apostle, that teacher. So you have to take me. What does that mean? Not as an individual person, but as the knowledge of God. You have to possess that same knowledge of God. So you can become teacher. So you are the full age person is solid food. So you can love the Lord, love your neighbor. That's what it is. So by providing the Hurema word, that person also can be like you to become the children of God. It is not of blood. It is more of the will of the man. It is of God. That is through the gospel. We just saw it for Peter, right? That's why Christos Jesus, Matthew chapter 8, we call the Great Commission. He is talking the same thing. Go therefore what? Make disciples of all the nation. So how can we make the disciple? To be as a teacher. That's why Apostle Paul says, you owe nothing but to love. Only love. That's the only one commandment we have to keep. Because if we do not love, you are committed adultery. If we do not love, you are stealing. If you do not love, you are murdering. All commandment. And when we were young, we accept as the uh, physical thing. That's why I like uh, that young rich man. I came as I was young because I didn't kill anybody. Obviously, you didn't kill anybody. I didn't kill anybody. Is that the Bible is talking about? 
Old Testament age, we understood nothing but like that. But once we understand the Christos Jesus, who is the Son of God, ah, murdering, killing is not just physical killing, physical murdering. That's more above that level. Not preaching the gospel. Cannot love my brother. That is, I am killing my brother. Talking about spiritual, not the physical. So make a disciple or the nation. Who can do that? People who love the Lord. People who love your neighbor by providing the Hurema word. How can we love? The process is you have to lambano him. Lambano. Take him. Take him. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So I was explaining baptizing means, right? There is a three baptizing we go through for the salvation process, right? Water baptism, blood baptism, and Holy Spirit, and fire baptism, right? What was the water baptism? And we look at the uh, Peter, right? Water is the antitype, right? So, eperutao, questioning the word of God. You start to question what is that means, right? Which means study process. What is the uh, blood baptism? We're talking about the Roman chapter 6, right? Bury with Christos Jesus, right? Baptized with uh, Christos Jesus into his death. So once you have understanding the word of God, you crucify your old knowledge and to resurrect with him with the Christos Jesus knowledge to become a new person, right? That's why Apostle Paul says, Galatians 2.20, I no, lo no longer live for myself because I become the Son of God. I crucify with Christos Jesus together. Now I can preach and teach. Love your Lord, love your neighbor. Right? And then the uh, Holy Spirit baptism is what? Possessing the truth. truth. Those are three baptizing he's talking about here. Not just sprinkling the water, right? And 20, teaching them again, teaching them. So you have to become a teacher. So teacher, prove yourself, you possess eternal life. You are the son of God. So teaching them to observe all things that I have commanded you. What did he command us? Yes, <laughs> we just saw that. Love the Lord, love the neighbor. That's what he commanded us. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the age. Amen. Amen. Yes. So now we know how to become a children of God. Now we know what is to love your Lord and love your neighbor. It starts from Lambano. Take the knowledge. Take the knowledge. Not just sit down and try to, if you give it to me, I'm good. If you don't, that's okay with me. That attitude cannot become the teacher. Let's go to Act 1-8. Uh, we can start from 1. We know the Act is written by the Luke, right? The book of Luke in the four gospel. Is, uh, he also wrote the uh, Act. You know the, uh, the four gospel, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, we know Matthew and John is the disciple of Christos Jesus. And then Mark and the Luke is the disciple of Apostle Paul. And they are all talking about the life of Christos Jesus. And then the act is also is written by uh, the Luke. Okay? So the former account I made of Theopilos. Theopilos. Okay? Theopilos is the name Theos. Theos is what? God. Philos. Philos is friendly love, okay? So we just saw friendly love, right? Christos Jesus called us what? You are my friend if you keep my commandment. And then I have known everything from my father. I have made known you. You are not the servant anymore. You are my friend because you know everything that I know from my father. So Theopilos, he's writing the this act, people who love God as a friendly love, okay? So who keep the commandment? Love your God, love your neighbor. Of all that Jesus began both to do and teach, until the day in which he was taken off, after he, through the Holy Spirit, has given uh, commandments to the apostle whom he has chosen. So in order to keep his commandment, 
to become the apostle. Apostle is the one who keeps commandment, right? They have to have what? Receive Holy Spirit, right? And to whom he also presents himself alive after his suffering by many infallible proofs, being seen by them during 40 days and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of God. And then, being assembled together with them, he commanded them not to depart from Jerusalem, but to wait for the promise of the Father, which he said, you have heard from me. Okay? So they are waiting for what? Holy Spirit baptism. That happened in chapter 2. This is Acts chapter 1. But look at the uh, promise of the Father. Promise of the Father. Evangelion to Patros. So Evangelia is translated as promise, but Evangelia is not promise. Epi Angelia compound word. Epi is on. This is on, right? On is the relationship. Because this power connected to this light. So, P is on, connect. Angelia, we already learned angelos. Angelos is message, messenger, right? So, angelia is message. So, Evangelia is connected to message. Connected to message. So, Bible is a connected to message. Bible is not promise. Okay? The connected to message means we just saw the, uh, the, new, the commandment is what? Love your neighbor, love your Lord, these all four under hang. What is hang? Old Testament is hang or the commandment, right? So, Bible is talking about whose salvation? My salvation. That comes from Christos Jesus, from the God Father. So, the salvation process is what? I start as the first Adam, right? In the beginning, right? And then we met the Christos Jesus on the sixth day, and then to become last Adam, who become one with Christos Jesus, right? Those are all one message, connected to the message. So those are all whose story? When we were young, Old Testament, we thought the story of God, and New Testament is the story of Son, and now it becomes whose story? My story. My salvation book. My salvation book. The Bible is my salvation book. That is whose story? My story. When we were young, when we were babe, unskilled in the word of righteousness that we saw Hebrew chapter 5. Oh, Old Testament is talking about Jehovah. Oh, now New Testament is talking about Jesus and the Apostle. So what is the relationship with me then? It is God's story. It is the Apostle's story. It is the uh, Christos Jesus story. What about me then? Those old story has to be connected into my life. My living. That is the Evangelia. Connected message. Connected message. It is not promise. Okay? So, you have to receive what? Connected message of the Father. Okay? In order to keep His commandment. Verse 5. For John truly baptized with water, but you shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now on. So, to receive Holy Spirit means what? To receive Connected the message to possess the truth of God. So you can give the truth to the people. That is what? Love your neighbor. Therefore, when they had come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom of Israel? And he said to them, It is not for you to know times and seasons which the Father has put in his own authority. For say, but you shall receive power. Look at here. You shall receive or you shall take. Lamba. Lambano. Yes. You have to take that connected message. You have to take that Holy Spirit. That is the truth of God. So you shall take power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Because Holy Spirit is the truth. And you shall be witness to me in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria, and to the end of the earth. Now, when he had spoken these things while they watched, he was taken up at cloud receive him. Is a cloud receive him? Look at the cloud receive him. Hupo Lambano. Hupo Lambano. So Hupo Lambano, Christos Jesus was there, and cloud is Lambano him. 
taken. Okay. Out of their sight. Out of their sight. So when we go to the chapter 2, it's talking about the, uh, the Holy Spirit baptism, right? When the day of Pentecost has fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire. So Holy Spirit and fire... And one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongue as the Spirit gave them utterance. So those are the Holy Spirit baptism and fire. Okay? To become the last baptism, right? Blood, uh, water, blood, Holy Spirit baptism. That's the Lombardo process, right? You have to take. 1 Corinthians 2.12 Uh, we can start from the uh, verse 8, which none of the ruler of this age know, knows of what? The, the stars, the word of stars, the word of the cross. For, for had they known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who who love him. But God has revealed them to us through the Holy Spirit. For the Spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. So, in order to understand the deep things of God, you have to have what? The Spirit. Because Spirit searches all things. So, what is the Spirit? We learned the Purema, right? John chapter 6, 63. The one that I spoke to you is what? The life and spirit. Spirit and life is what? Hrema. Hrema. So people who receive the Hrema, like we just saw the chapter 2 in Act. Hrema, how can we receive the Hrema? Hrema is the one? Holy Spirit, right? Possess the Holy Spirit means you possess the Hrema. You have a full understanding the word of God. That's the Hrema. Hrema is the spirit. So, Hrema searches all things, the deep things of God. For one man knows the things of man except the spirit of the man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. So, who can tell? You know, many people say, I received the Holy Spirit. Did you receive Holy Spirit? I received Holy Spirit. So, what is the sign to receive Holy Spirit? The Bible, you understanding the understanding of Bible as what? Promise or connected message? Connected message. From the first Adam through the second Adam, Christos Jesus to become the last Adam as a connected message. From the Genesis to Revelation as a connected message. Your redemptive history, your salvation history. That's the Evangelia. That's the sign of you have Rema. That's the sign of you receive, you take Holy Spirit. And people misunderstand the uh, receive the Holy Spirit. Like, oh, 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 hallelujah. That kind of emotion things. Emotion things. Because they are lack of to understand the Bible. Okay? You know, I just showing you before the class of the uh, uh, one of the things that I upload into my YouTube, uh, my uh, blog, right? Why atheists are against theism? Why people who does not believe God against the people who believe God, okay? And the existence of God is logically inconsistent. That's the one reason people say that, okay? Because when they look at the Bible, okay, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Which means, for example, the Virgin Mary gave a force to baby Jesus. How can Virgin having a baby without having a sex? <laughs> Logically inconsistent. But those are what? What is the virgin means? You have to be clean through the word of God, right? Before you meet the word of God, you were nothing but commit what? Adultery. You were adulterer. You are mixing the knowledge of God with earthly knowledge. 
So how can we become a pure virgin? By knowing the word of God through the understanding of God. That's why virgin can having the baby. Christos Jesus has to be born inside you. What is the name of the Maria? Means Maria. Rebellion, right? You have to rebel your old knowledge. Your role has to become a Maria. Your name has to be Maria in order to baby Jesus has to be born inside you. Bible is the spiritual book, not the physical book. You only understand that Christos Jesus was born 2018 years ago in the Bethlehem through the Virgin Mary. That's why it's logically inconsistent because you don't understand the Bible. That's why you're complaining, oh, those are the foolish people who, who believe the Lord and who believe the Bible. But you never heard what I'm preaching like this. Bible is logical. Christus Jesus has to be born inside you. That's the first coming Jesus. People who even does not born inside you, first coming Jesus, how can you expect second coming Jesus? Second coming Jesus. Even first coming Jesus is not even born inside you. But you said, I'm waiting for second coming Jesus. No, you don't even meet the first coming Jesus yet. The first coming Jesus you thought you are believing is 2018 years ago, right? That's the historical Jesus. History Jesus. What is, that is nothing to do with your spiritual life. Even non-believer knows that. How? Because we use the calendar, Roman calendar, 2018. Roman calendar start from the born of Christos Jesus. So you just know the historical factor. Not only Christian knows, non-Christian knows that. Because today is 2018 years. So Bible is a spiritual book again. And because of scientific development, many of the Bible claims are unreliable scientifically. Yes, when you read uh, Genesis chapter 1, people only believe nothing but creation of the universe. But when you listen to my preaching, Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, the first word, Bereshit is what? Reshit is my head. So where is the location of heaven? My head. Where is the location of the earth? My head. Bible is not science book. Bible is the book of Bible talking about your salvation. Okay? That's why you as a Christian does not understand in that way. That's why those non-Christian, non-believer can against you. Because you don't have the ability to receive the connected message from the preacher. So your preacher is blindness. So blindness leads the blind. So how can you persuade them about this? Belief in God is a psychological condition based upon psychological neurosis. It's just your emotion. You believe God, that's your emotion. Prove to me, show to me. I love my God. That's why I donate this much of money to the poor. Even non-believer can do that if the love is like that. But now I just explain, loving is what? To give the word, to give the grandma. So they can be saved, born through the word of God. But the young Christian, baby Christian, oh, love your Lord, love your neighbor. Yeah, I, I love my Lord. What is the nothing but different? I love my parents. I love my sister. I love my brother. Even non-Christian love their brother and sister and father and mother. That's why in the eyes of a non-believer, that's a psychological neurosis and not a realistic condition. You are not realistic, man. Why you believe Jesus then? So they're going to blame on you. Then you block the salvation process because you are not saved yet. You block those people because you cannot answer this question. I can live well without being conscious of God. Yes, you can live well without a God. Because the Christian believe, oh, if I donate the tithes and do everything, God will bless me a lot. So I'll be financially, I'll be blessed. No! You gotta work hard if he wants to become a rich. God's blessing is not financial blessing. God's blessing is, this is the God's blessing to become a children of God, to inherit the eternal life. Can you buy with your million dollars to buy eternal life? No, you can't. No, you can't. So, 
you can, you can become well. You can live happily life without God. No problem. Everybody do that. But why do we need to believe God to become a children of God? Because eternal life. Money cannot buy that. Then how can we buy? You have to sit down, spend your time, and learn and live by the word of God. That is your cross. You need to take up that cross in order to become God. So all those four questions is answered right now to you if you are non-Christian against the Christian on this thought. Very easy, isn't it? <laughs> Very easy. Okay. So, 212. So then one man knows the things of the man except the spirit of the man which is in him. Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. 12. Now, we have received. Is it received? Lambano. <laughs> so we took. We took. So, no. Which means we didn't took the spirit of the word. We didn't take it. Okay? Lambano. So even though the word is come to you, hey, hey, I'm not friend of your uh, 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 friend of you anymore. I'm not friend of cosmos. I'm a friend of Jesus Christ. So how can you say that? If you do, love the Lord, love your neighbor, then you are a friend of Christos Jesus. Which means you, Christos Jesus, is only begotten son. And I become the sons of the kingdom, sons of the God, Father. So we take, not the spirit of the world, but we took the spirit who is from God. So you have to take the spirit. What does that mean? You have to take the krema. Krema is spirit. Krema is life. Okay? So the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. Yes, my class is free. It will be freely given. But you have to sign, sit down, and learn. That's the only thing. Come on over. <laughs> so next week we are going to keep going uh, the rest of the verse uh, uh, study the Lambano word okay